and welcome to Thursday Focus the Best Bits. We'll bring you the highs and of course the lows from the show this season. We've got plenty to keep you glued to your seats for the next hour, such as this. We'd like to ask you, if you don't mind, about your Phil Jones faces. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of that. Just give it a shake, give it a bit of shake. Give it a <laughs> shake it the other way, up and down. And of course, him. Diddly. Oh yeah. <laughs> David May has just beaten oh, no. Rachel Riley <laughs> in a man's competition. Get in there. So that was David May, my co-host there, and of course he wanted to be here today, but decided that golf was more important as usual. So it's because of that kind of attitude that we decided David May should face the ice bucket challenge live on air. Bring it Can on. we go for it? You get <laughs> Can we go for it? Are you ready, Maisie? No. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't forget to nominate. Are you once nominated you've done now it, right? or after? Uh, I no, nominate. after, after, after. Oh, shit. Here we go, Maisie. It's freezing out it's here. It's Baltic. Who are you nominating? Who are you nominating? Hello, Devon. <laughs> No, no, no! Gaffer, the gaffer. <laughs> He's gone! Shout it out! Shout it out! <laughs> Dion, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Maisie, well done. Right, Dion. Oh, dear. You got nominated today too, didn't you? Yes, I did get nominated, unfortunately, by do? Darren Huckabee. I'll do it on Sunday, Darren Huckabee. I'll do it Sunday when I'm with you and allow you to do it. There you go. Here, by the way, I had a call. Yeah, here? it's absolutely bolted absolutely without getting <laughs> cold water. Come well. on in, Maisie. Come on. Come on, pal. Come on in. <laughs> Language. Come on, mate, like, oh, How was it? It's really cold out here. Have you got a towel in your car? <laughs> Is it really that? Is it proper, proper? Oh, he's looking, that looking at it. That's brave, by the way. Right, guys, before uh, this weekend, score predictions for Dina. Sunderland. <laughs> Absolutely disgraceful. I do apologise, everybody, yeah. for, do, for swearing, and I cannot apologise enough. Any kids out there, do not repeat that. It was the wrong thing to say. Well, Sorry. what about the scream, though? From the outside. <laughs> it was freezing. Tell you what, that, that ice bucket had been sat out there in the freezing cold. Of the evening. You said it was cold outside. It was, it was so cold. It was so cold. It'd been sat there for over an hour with like I'm sure the lads emptied all the ice machines at, at Carrington or at the A on training ground, and it was freezing, Ben. And even Dion. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting mugged outside there. <laughs> it was very, very cold. Let's see, how, let's see how you... Right, well, just before on, we see, see my challenge, fair. we wanted to give something back to you, the viewer. We're not all take, take, take. We also like to give. So as our gift to you, <laughs> we will make the David May scream, <laughs> scream available as a ringtone or a text alert to anybody that wants it. All you have to do Come is on. email the address. It's over there at the bottom of your screen with the subject David May scream <laughs> and we will send you an MP3 <laughs> to do what you want with it. Do I get any royalties out of that? <laughs> <laughs> OK, moving on to my challenge filmed last week. Bring it on. Let me just see if the water tippage is right. Oh yeah, it's right. <laughs> Don't you're gonna ruin it because it's gonna look like we've done it already. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm gonna be wet, Mark. <laughs> yeah, because it looks like a spillage. Helen. Yeah. Don't move. Don't run away. Johnny, you run okay. away. Right. But after it was all the water was done. Yeah, well, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll probably break my leg on that step. Right, you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay, thanks to Carla De Silva. Yvonne O'Shea and of course Maisie for my ice bucket challenge and this is to raise awareness for the James McCarthy Foundation.
It's Sher Gardner and David Style. <laughs> Johnny. Have you ever seen anything so dramatic in your whole life? Was. No, I don't mean me. I mean the way that yeah, you made the yeah, video. Yeah, your chalky right? bottoms on, waterproof. <laughs> your Nike top, probably a waterproof. It wasn't and yet, waterproof. And you your hair done up. He's calling you a wuss, Helen. But I know. Hey, it, was, it, you. it was him that ran off. And by the way, there was two bags of ice in that. Oh, I hadn't. Really I had cold. A, yeah. Take an ice machine in mine. <laughs> So there you go, Stuart and Dave, we're coming bucket, for yes. you. When you least expect it, we'll be there to chuck iced water over you, all in the name of charity. So mm. there you go. Well, I didn't do too bad, did I? You and did by well. the way, I well. have, have a bit of an allergy to water. I mean, to um, cold. <laughs> I can <laughs> no see water. that. No <laughs> you look at Your nails are filthy. <laughs> no. Diane, have a bit of your daughter. She's I have horrible. a bit of an allergy to, like, the cold. Like, I'm not just saying this. <laughs> So, um, we've one more email. Where are you going? I've got a job to do. Okay. Um, one more email. Ian says, please, please give me your expert opinion about the signing of uh, Blind because he has caused a bit of discussion here. It's all because I think he looks a bit like 2009 Formula One world champion Jensen Button. What do you think? Are they lookalikes? No. No? Yeah, I don't think so, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I don't think he looks like Jensen Button. No. No. Okay. I don't really have anything else to say about that. No. <laughs> don't know where Maisie's gone, but we'll see you again next week. Thanks for your company. No problem. See you soon. Bye bye. Well, that's interesting too, because ultimately, I suppose uh, there are so many players now. Some people have got to play. Some people have got to miss out. So, how does he work everyone in? Well, well, all the you can see the boys are working here, nice and hard. Baldy Stowley and Stuart. Boris Gardner. You can try and get, get Stuart's flip flops on. He looks a right idiot. A lot of people suggesting Juan Mata might be the one who might miss out. I mean, who do you think? Who do you think might miss out? <laughs> Take that, boys! Take that! <laughs> I've never liked Thursday Focus. No. <laughs> I nominate Paddy Crow and. Paddy Crerand next. Well, that will kill him. I, I nominate Paddy Crerand next. This season, we were fortunate enough to have first team players joining us on the sofa. And in true Thursday Focus style, we didn't let them off lightly on the questioning either. Now, we've got to mention a tweet by Tony Strudwick whilst you're on tour. <laughs> Phil Jones forced to borrow cash from Manchester United coach Tony Strudwick during club's USA tour. That did actually make some newspapers it and did, Twitter yeah. sites. Yeah, Tell us the truth, Phil. Well, the truth was he did actually pay for the, the coffee. Um, <laughs> we went out into the taxi uh, and I had my card on me. didn't have any cash. Bear in mind, we're in the United States and we didn't get to go out that much often yeah. anyway. So, um, so we've gone to the... He's paid for the taxi, which was about maybe $8, so what? Three, four pounds. They paid him back then. Um, and then he paid for the Starbucks coffee as well, <laughs> strawberries, oh. strawberries and cream frappuccino, um, and he paid for both of them. So, and then he tweeted for a bit of banter. Um, I, he said to me, "Do you want me to tweet?" I said, "Yeah, stick it in there." Um, and then it ends up in the paper. Uh, Have you paid him back? I haven't paid him back. No. What? Listen, I sorted. Phil, look, there's fifty. There's a fifty pound note here. If Listen, you... I sorted him out with the free Xbox. So. You know, oh, so can, he can't complain. Yeah, he can't complain. Well, funny you should say um, Xbox. When we watched that Benny Moss, my first clip there, I was going to ask you what your first game console was. It would have been a PS1. PS1? <laughs> PS1. First car? First car was an Audi A3. See, that's how things have changed, isn't <coughs> it? Okay. Changed, what was your so. first car? My first, well, as a Ford, uh, probably about 300 quid. Ford, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, Ford, it had the holes in it and everything. Oh, nice. Yeah, it, it really got soaking wet. <laughs> as long as it gets you from A to B. Yeah. First pet? Hamster. First pin up? Um, probably of uh, the Blackburn squad. Right. First album? Oh. Don't know, I don't know. Maybe, well, you put me on the spot there. Um, I'll give you the first concert I went to. What was that? <laughs> Spice Girls. <laughs> Spice Girls! Well, at least you're honest, not your Really? Spice Girls, yeah. How old were yeah. you? 
That would have been eighteen. Think about this. Think about <laughs> this. <laughs> no, I'd have been um, about six or seven at the time. Six or seven? Who took you to Spice Girls? It was my sister's birthday, so. Well, Phil, we are running out of time, uh, but we'd like to ask you, if you don't mind, about your Phil Jones faces. <laughs> it yeah. has become well known around the world. There we go. <laughs> Phil, that's unbelievable. Wow, oh, you can have them. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Do you go out there trying to do, make do those faces? What, do you know what? I look at it and I think, you know, it is funny, some of the pictures and some of the, oh. the faces that they put on other people as well. And I do have a chuckle to myself, but then I look at, like, people who play in the games as well and, you know, everyone does it in a game. It's just do. that they picked yeah. up on me now, yeah. so... But You're just being picked on for I love us. it. Keep it going. Well, let's go back to the first game of the season, Swansea. At home. <laughs> we did lose that, but you know what I'm going to say? You've I've been got a good feeling what you're going to say. <laughs> You've been asked about it, it quite a lot, one thing. You don't remember this, do I you? I don't remember this You'll at remember all, it no. when you see it. Uh, are we going to watch it back? We are. What okay. happened with the bird? <laughs> um, let's have a look. <laughs> you're still not saying. You're still not right. sure what it was. I'm going to tell you 100%. It wasn't a bird. It actually didn't happen. Uh, I've said it before, whoever had the video, I need to see my reaction afterwards because right, so there's not a reaction. I think someone's edited. Edit. Right. See? Well, no one's thought about that. Really? I, have. No. I know that. So I know. That's exclusive here. 100% he's got an exclusive. exclusive from me. It's not bad. So. But Luke Shaw said recently that the lads <laughs> did give you a bit of stick about it in the changing room. What happened? So, obviously, you know, the banter does go on. Um, you know, that we uh, do. Uh, banner each other non-stop so uh, <laughs> I walked in one day and there was actually a plastic pigeon above my locker <laughs> as, I, as I come in um, but no one's owned up to it really um, do you yeah, have an no idea of it might be I'm not too sure theory? I haven't got a clue there's a few that jokers in the dress room but no none of them I actually owned up to it so you still don't know? Still don't know to this day. Still don't know. No. Well, the thing is, those are the, usually the kind of pranks that you play, aren't they? Exactly. That's because that everybody that's been that's interviewed always says Ashley Young's the biggest joker in the. In so the I, I would say, yeah, I have been one of the jokers in in the dressing room, and um, you know, I'm always playing playing jokes, and I'd have been happy for if I had done it. I would have owned up to it, but. Yeah, no one's decided to own up to it, so um, mm. you know, I'm none the Something wiser. Something deceitful then, quite deceitful. Yeah. Well, had because it been bird poo it. as well, it's, it's been lucky for him anyway, hasn't it? Because yeah. he had a fantastic well, exactly. season. Exactly, so, well, exactly. If it was bird poo, then it's helped me, but <laughs> it actually wasn't, so... Uh, what would you say, uh, your best ever prank? Obviously, something that you can tell uh, national TV in the changing room. Um, oh, there's been that many, I'm not too sure. Well, uh, it's a good question, that. Uh, I won't say much of a, a prank, but when Shinji was leaving, um, he came in one day, and it was pretty much one of his last days, that he had come in and the shoes that he had come in with, that me, me, Fletch and Waz sit in the corner. Basically, everyone says the bad corner, because we're yeah. always messing about. But he come in and there was some, he had some dodgy shoes on. They were so bad. <laughs> so obviously, me and Fletch were sat there and was like, Fletch, we have to do something. So we just cut his laces but put them back on so he looked like he could tie him up again. <laughs> so as he's put his foot in and gone like that, he was like, my shoes, my shoes, what's going on, my shoes? So he wasn't best pleased, but you know, it was a, a goodbye present, Here's basically. <laughs> There's a new challenge sweeping the nation, the After Eight Challenge. Uh, participants have to attempt to slide an After Eight mint from their forehead down to their mouth without using their hands in the quickest time possible. The challenge is to raise awareness for the Marina Daglish appeal, who's Kenny Daglish's wife, after she was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2003. Now, the record time as it stands is Westlife singer Nikki Byrne, who managed to do it in 2.88 seconds. Tonight, though, we're going to try and beat that. So, Johnny is up first. We have an official timekeeper in our gallery. So, I think somebody will let me know of times, yes? Yeah. We're going to do a 3 two, one You have to put the mint on your head. Start now? Yes. Okay, wait till I give you a 3 two, one Sick of these challenges. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. Shocking. <laughs> can he have another go? He can have go. one more go. Good facials, he had the other eye. Three, two, one. No, it's just like slow motion with chocolate all over oh, your head. No. <sighs> no, a fresh one. I right, stitch you can find any germs, by the way. Yeah, yeah I know, but it's, got, it's really melted on his head a little bit. Right, oh. give me a three, two, one, right. and go. Three, two, one. 
<laughs> oh, are you winding me up? <laughs> Their facial's better than mine. <laughs> Love after it, so I have one I more go. go, on one more go. Go on then. Three, two, one. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what I, do didn't you mean? Out, I didn't look out ridiculous, did I? <laughs> Have got chocolate oh, you got a right? facial tick, then. Tell you what, though. <laughs> How good are after it? <laughs>Welcome back to Thursday Focus the Best Fits. As well as first teamers this season, we have also had musicians, comedians, actors, and Paddy Crerand as guests. Let's have a look at the best of our guests. Are you watching? Right, okay, we'll go. <laughs> Paddy! <laughs> <laughs> what that? Oh. Come on now, come on now. Come Try on, one. Oh, have Paddy, you been having that spray again? Come on now, come on now. I know. I'm actually, gonna, I'm actually English. Right, here we go. Oh, look at the... Oh! Oh, hey. oh yes. Oh. Oh, look, at them. <laughs> look at those eyebrows working. <laughs> Can't get it any fun. Yeah, one. you can. <laughs> take your time. Take your time. Just give it a shake. Give it a bit of shake. Give it, no, shake it the other way, up and down. It's oh, stuck on his nose. <laughs> Let's just do the rest of the show now. Anyway... <laughs> That's better than getting it in your mouth, mouth. that. Yeah. Louis, you're going right. out. Oh, my go. God. Here we go. We're on, Louie. Oh, mate's not... Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. One more go, Sorry. one more go. One more go. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I live in the old Highbury now. I, know, I, was I, just live, in, say I live in the that. old West End, and like the, where you go and get your parcels is the marble halls where people used yeah. to walk in. It's just like what a waste of a space <laughs> to go and get a parcel walking into the marble halls. But funnily enough, they changed the pitch to a gardens, and you're not allowed to play ball games on there, which I find insane. Is it true your wife wasn't too happy about moving there? No, she wasn't, but. Um, the way I got around that was uh, by lying, and I took her, to, when we first moved down to North London, I took her to see two of the worst, most expensive flats in all of North London, and then Arsenal were third on the list. And then, kind of when we got there, she was like, you know I don't want to live near Arsenal because you'll always be going, and blah, blah, blah. And then, but she'd seen two absolute, they were tips. And by the time we got there, she was just so happy to see <laughs> someone that looked half modern. <laughs> that um, She just said, yeah, and went the estate agent as well. I just said to him, look, mate, you don't have to sell this to me. Just, just sell it to her. And he's kind of like, yeah, you can put all these sort of wardrobes here. There's more space. And I was like, legend. And then, <laughs> yeah, so we've lived there ever since. Brilliant. Very good. Brilliant. And you are quite a passionate fan. Yeah, I am. I, I, do, uh, I do get angry. Um, not like in a bad way. No. Just... Just uh, smashing you know, up your PlayStation controller. I did smash up my PlayStation controller <laughs> last night, but because I've got a prosthetic leg, uh, I went to bang the controller down, but it smashed on my own leg, which is in some ways cool, in other ways pretty bad. But the worst thing is, as I did it, my <laughs> wife had just walked in from work, and she was like, "What's the matter with you?" And I was like, "This FIFA game is stupid." I was going right off, and when she was going. I thought you were going to be starting the chicken and vegetables, <laughs> not smashing technology. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. Um, <laughs> but the, 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 these computer games are insane. And it's even harder when you've got one opposable thumb, and it's just ridiculous. It's just, I lose the plot with it. And um, I play as Arsenal as well, and they're rubbish on it. Actually, in some ways, it's a little bit accurate. <laughs> they can't all... defend. <laughs> Mertesack is slow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll tell you this. This is a true story. Me and David played in a, a United Relief a game, Comet Relief, Old Trafford, a few years ago. And um, we all lined up, and we all had a sponsor, uh, not sponsor, a mascot. And the kid who was next to me was taller than me. He felt weird holding his hand. So he's like, like I went, because this is a bit weird. He went, yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> So I just passed him on to somebody else, got hold of the next lad who went, what you doing, Brad? He was Tinchy Strider. I tried holding Tinchy Strider's hand to walk out. I was just going to say, you have achieved something that not many United fans have, playing on that Old Trafford pitch. Yes. And not only playing on that pitch. Scoring talk with glasses on. Talk us out the watch. Oh, this is, I've just come back from injury here, so I'm carrying a little bit of weight. <laughs> and uh, no shinnies. Look at this, don't look, look at the ball. Know where it is. <laughs> know where it is. Vision, vision that. I tell you, the Shazy uh, requested that I have his number. John O'Shea yeah. that day, yeah. So I go over and see David Besson here. I say, well done at being the Scousers, mate. I appreciate that. 
but my family and my children are in the stand. If I miss, they'll cry. <laughs> so he went, yeah, right. But he's a, he's a winner. The man's a winner. Full focus oh here now. Look at you. Physique of a man. Look at that. Had your hair done clips well. there in Stretford. Had your hair done. Yeah. Watch this now. Technique this, Hands technique. Over the ball. Look, look where the arms go. Look at that. Bang. <laughs> Well, you did something that Aldridge has never done. Tell you what, you got some cheer there as well. That's the, you know what, that's the greatest moment of my life. Don't go, what about your children? <laughs> Don't no, worry about better that. than that. Because <laughs> that will never happen again. The way I'm going on, I'm going to have loads of kids. But no, that's, <laughs> that, that's not nice. Great finish. Great finish. Not bad, that is it, David. Well, well, reminds me of Van Nistel, right, pal? <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> no long face there, pal. Look at that. There you go. I loved it. I just... Quality. Do you know what? Every now and then, I just watch that on my own at home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like there's anybody else in this room who's over Milton celebration, is there? Right then, Rachel, obviously, oh, uh, you you're most famous for being the brains of Countdown, solving maths, problems and equations. Yeah. So our very own David May likes to think he's pretty clever too. Oh, yes. Bring it up. So we thought... Uh, we. Oh. We do a little maths challenge. We're having a maths off. In a game we've called Getting Shirty. 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 Getting Shirty. Shirty. Let's do it. So there Bring is your okay. clipboard. So let me explain the rules. Uh, rather than letting you solve conventional maths problems, we thought we'd add a little football to the mix. <laughs> so using the player's shirt number, stop cheating. No, no, that's the first time. Using the player's shirt number. <laughs> Don't look over the shoulder, I might, that's not fair. I uh, ask you, for example, to add David De Gea plus David De Gea. That would equal to two, because David De Gea wears number one. So the person with the most correct answers in the event... I hope of they're all on that level. ...wins. <laughs> <laughs> in the event of a tie, we'll have ourselves a little countdown conundrum. Everybody Game understand on. the rules? Game on. OK. Bring it on. Okay. Are you ready for your Going first question? Amazing. I don't want the answers at the very start. I'll wait until we finish the okay. game. OK. OK. How many, how many questions? Uh, three questions. Three. Okay. So it's easy. Okay. 26. <laughs> Wayne Rooney plus Michael Carrick. Why do you always ruin things? Well, it's just a guess. Random. Wayne Rooney plus Michael Carrick. Don't shout out you else you get disqualified. In fact, we're taking that one off you already. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Got your answers? Okay, next next question. I actually have to sit like this. I, I think, I've got, I think really I've got cheating. Rachel on the ropes here. <laughs> I've got it on the road. I never remember if he's 10 or 8 because he switched to me. Oh, it's one of them. Oh, Rachel. Okay, I'm going for oh. Okay. Now, next one is Van Persie divided by David De Gea. What number is Van Persie? Oh, yeah. Shocking. Okay, okay. I Van think Persie I'm... divided by David De Gea. Yeah, it's easy. Plus that. Johnny Evans. Yeah. Oh, plus. You can't forget. You can't okay. forget Johnny. OK. Got your answers? Yeah. Stop yeah. uh, right. <laughs> cheating. OK, and finally, question three. Blackett, Tyler Blackett, plus oh, Juan Mata. Juan. Oh, OK. So that's the first part. See, she's changing her... She can't... You, can't, ch you can't change her No, 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 I'm just, I'm just confirming. I'm just confirming no, that, that he's not that one, cos he's the other one. <laughs> so Tyler Blackett plus Juan Mata <laughs> divided by Valencia plus Wilson. Oh my word. Valencia plus Wilson. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to show you the other side of this clipboard. <laughs> um, Everybody got their answers? I don't even know what Valencia's number is. Give you a clue. He did go to seven. I know that. He changed it back. Oh, I think I know. I think I think I know that one, but that's about no it. No saying it out loud. Yeah, but right, ready. My answer uh, can't be divided by. Uh, that's where mathematics comes into it. Oh, that's where. That's where Rachel no. shines through. Okay, so oh, I don't know. question I'll one. I'll tell you what. Seeing that, I'll go for that number. Okay, number one. So that was Wayne Rooney plus Michael Carrick. Rachel, what did you get? I got 10 past 16 for 26. 26, correct. And you got 26. Yeah. We're going to do exactly what okay. we do in Countdown. He has okay. to show me his board after you give your answer. <laughs> why, are you, why are you not looking at hers? <laughs> Number I, two. I Is that like trust? She's getting asked first. Van Persie divided by David De Gea plus Johnny Evans. 
Go on. Rachel. Oh, and, well, RBP is 20. And then... Johnny is? It's four or six. Ooh, <laughs> I've got it on the rocks. I've got it. Come on. Uh, I went for four. Yes! Come on now. I can't get the... Is that 26. Oh, 26. no! 26. There you go. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. And finally, none of you are going to get this, are you? No. Oh, no I just put 26. Tyler Blackett plus Juan Mata divided by Valencia plus Wilson. 50. Is he 50? Well, it matters eight. Yeah. Valencia's Blackie. 25. And oh, that's, that's it. I'm two. out. So you gave me 50. What did you give, Rachel? Well, I, I didn't have I got halfway through it. Rachel didn't get that one. Something plus eight over 25 plus but something. Blackie's 42. <laughs> yes. Is he? Plus. So basically what we're saying is... Maisie's one. David May has just oh, beaten no. Rachel Riley <laughs> <laughs> in a Mars competition. <laughs> get in there. Me and Albert go... Wow. Yeah. All those things I used to do to Albert. I apologise. You know what he did to me? <laughs> what? I got on the bus one night, just about to start serving the, all the food, and they, I was uncomfortable. Right. And all of a sudden I realised that I was... Uh, I had something in my pants. Right. And this so-and-so had put flipping DP in, the flip, in me flipping boxer shorts. Right where the Teddy Smalls were. Hey, that's what, hey. He, did, that's what he did to me. That's not nice, Albert, that no. is it? Hey, I got served last for the lasagna, though. Tell ya. He should cut his socks. But what, but what, he, did, but, but what, socks. But what he did... But what he didn't realise was, after they had a wash... Oh. ..with the towel that I've served him his dinner with, I'll leave it with you. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> Before you just arrived, uh, we were actually talking about playlists in the changing room. Oh, you're the DJ, aren't you? Yeah, that's DJ. me. DJ. I'm the DJ. You need to have a word, Ollie. Is he on? Would you, play? would you play? Would you play? Don't I'm, play any of me, do I, they? I would love to, but I've been told by the manager that I can only play Funky House or House. Funky House? Or what, House. Bang Out. Music. What's Funky yeah. House? Seriously, he's liking the playlist. Can you imagine watching him come out the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Here you come on, lads. We just won. <laughs> he does. That's what he likes. No. That's what's on the playlist. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I've got a few Funky House remixes that I could send you away, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I think you have to send them. Maybe, if you're lucky, might Can't make really, really, really Do you know, really once, no. I once... Uh, the only playlist I've ever, I've ever made, I think, um, which I can remember being documented, was um, on the England Ashes playlist when they went to Australia. Their Dear Darling played in their little mashup. That was pretty cool. We People need to like get that. you one at Old Trafford, so we're yeah, going to exactly. set you a bit of a challenge. OK. What I want you to do is think of two songs each and one between you, a good playlist which we could start before a game. A place before the game. Before the game. Well, I would, I would what go. Would be your two songs. My two songs that I would pick off the top yeah. of my head. Um, I would. I mean, I'm, I'm a garage fan. I'm old school garage me. So. I like that. Yeah, I'd pick a bit of. Um, I don't know. Actually, I'm trying to feel the top of what I'd pick. I can't even remember the names. Um, huh? A little bit of luck. Yeah. A little bit of luck. We can make it through the night. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a new one? I know that one. I know that one. I, know that one. I mean, I, I'm, 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 yeah, I, I would. I mean, being on tour, I would. I would play like you know a bit of chic, something like that. You know, what I mean, so you guys. I mean, you guys would know really. What do you guys like getting pumped up to before a game? Do you know? I think it's different for everyone. I'm not too sure everyone likes the music I play. Well, what would be your two the... songs? Your personal two songs? Uh, I see, in... I can't just pick two songs. That's not allowed. But you have to. Yeah, but I can't. I was in the lift. I was in lift in Liverpool, and Gabriel Obertam was in the lift yeah. next to me. I don't know what he was listening to, man, but I'll tell you, it was like hardcore, or whatever. Like, well, that's his kind of music. No, yeah, it's, it's not. No, it's not. No, no, I'm, I'm metal. I'm a metal fan. Yeah, it was crazy. So it's yeah. worse than that. What you was talking about? Yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. <laughs> but I think anything like Funky House, you know, I mean, I think they will probably agree. We're all about Funky House in here, aren't we? Yeah. Bit of the YMCA. It's good. Mm -mm, not sure that uh, would go down the no, dressing room oh, straight away. Uh, Enter oh. the Sandman, because you're going to get dumb. <laughs> I just got <laughs> the picture of me seeing Van Gaal in the dressing room. <laughs> Lads, they want... They want. <laughs> but you know that song, Funky Mr. House. Probs, Waves? Yeah. Obviously, he's, he's Dutch, so... Way, mm. I like what you think, Ashley. You know what I mean? That's what. Put that on, the manager will like it. He's going, he's put that on. Ashley Young, yeah, he's on the same show. Do you remember watching Maisie play? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it wasn't very memorable, though, was no. it? Really? I, I, I was actually watching um, <laughs> the Champions League final in 99. I just remember just seeing him, even though he hadn't even played in the battle. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maisie's John Terry moment. <laughs> <laughs> How is life on the street for both of you, Alan? You first. Yeah, fantastic. You know, we've spent half of our life on Coronation Street. I've, I've been there 17 years. 
this year and uh, uh, it's fantastic you know so lucky to, to love my job really and and uh, and the people I work with are some of my closest friends in the world I met mm -hmm. my wife there it's a great place to work and uh, yeah really privileged actually to, to do the job I do. Andy? Same with me um, I'm into my 15th year now and mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, Kurt's just got married as well, so it, that was that was nice. Congratulations! And thank you oh, very well, much. Dressed as uh, <laughs> dressed as Adam Ant, which was uh, any kids on the way? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I'll have to wait and see. The script writer. <laughs> Sorry, out. sorry. <laughs> um, I forgot completely what I was going to say. Oh yes, yeah, so there must be lots of different football fans then at the, on the street. Uh, majority of them are, are United fans. Um, we used to have a few City fans, but. Yeah. Um, was a Kev Kennedy was a was a City fan, but he's left and one Bruce by one we've managed to get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So as much nice. as we can, yeah, definitely, yeah. It's Maisie. Listen, uh, I broke down. You've broken down? Where are you? I'm in Salford somewhere, I have no idea. Right, well how bad is it? Oh, honestly God, there's loads of like red smoke coming out of my car. Do you know any uh, mechanics over here? Well, I do know one, but I've not been there in a while. Doesn't matter who they are, do not have to be anyone. Right Maisie, there's a garage on Coronation Street. Where? It's called Webster's Auto Centre on Coronation Street. Webster's Autos? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Who do I speak to? Go in and ask for a guy called Tyrone. Tyrone? What does he look like? Small and chubby. Right, all right, pal. I'll see you in a bit. OK, good luck. I'll try my best to get in. All right, see you later, Trap. Bye. Trap. Webster's Garage. Where is it? Might be somewhere around there. I'll go in here and ask, ask them for directions. Hey, hey, here we go. Sort my card out. Can't believe it. I think it's shut. Tyrone! Tyrone! Hello? I'm going to be late. Did you enjoy being down there today? That was good, yeah. That's your second time there now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. On, on the new set. This well. acting's not as easy was, as we yeah, make it look, is it? Yeah. That was terrible. So you, no you one. Hey, hey, that was only one. Tell you that, mate. Come on. I only had one flare. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought it was actually quite good, but maybe I'm just really, really bad. Oh, wow. Come on, Bells. You know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> These two, they're just worried that I'm going to nick the jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, as we all know, Maisie and I are the real stars of the show. Yes, we occasionally do get the giggles or stumble on a few words but we always get there in the end. Now that you're officially an actor, no, we wanted to test how good you are at spotting talent yourself. Maisie and I have been known to do a bit mm. of acting in our time, haven't we? Oh, yes. Not tonight, but we are quite good. So mm. we're going to read lines from three different famous films, and we want you to guess what Ooh. the film is from our acting skills. Don't give the answer until we finish the script. I okay? won't be giving you any answers, I don't think. Do you, are you not, do you not know about oh, you will. films? This went, right. down, this went down well, this one. Okay. There's a clue. Oh. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, you don't want the answer? No. No, not oh, yet. All right, sorry. That was really sore. <laughs> sorry. I love you, Jack. Don't do that. Don't say your goodbyes. Not yet. <laughs> do you understand me? I'm so cold. Listen, Rose, you're going to get out of here. You're going to go on. You're going to have lots of babies and you're going to watch them grow. You're going to die an old, an old lady in her bed. Not here, not this night. Not like this. Do you understand me? <laughs> I can't feel my body. Winning that ticket, Rose, was the best thing that ever happened to me. It brought me to you, and I'm thankful for that, Rose. I'm thankful. You must do this, this honour. Promise me you'll survive, that you won't give up, no matter what happens, no matter <laughs> how hopeless. <laughs> promise me now, Rose, and I'll never let, never let go of that promise. I promise. Never let go. I'll never let go, Jack. <laughs> Jack! Jack! <laughs> Come back, Jack! Right, right. Luke, is that, that as the ship's going down? Uh, is it? Oh, <laughs> bingo! One out of one. Throw that one away. Yeah. I was in the bathroom and um, there's a tube of oral B on the floor and I stood on it and it, well, the lid came off and I was trying to pick it up and whack bamboo it, 
pulled me back. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. So uh, we have a nurse word. tonight for you on call. Come in, nurse. Well, hey! Oh. You just be careful. There's now. our nurse. <laughs> when was the last nurse you saw with a beard? Hi, mate. There you Hi, go. Love, sorry. How are you doing? I'm all right. So do I. You'll be in safe hands tonight, Maisie. Them li lips look beautiful. <laughs> Good. Every week we've had uh, complaints. Not complaints. About comments. Maisie's choice of clothing. And this week we had another one. And the email reads, why is David May allowed to dress so scruffily for the Thursday programme? <gasps> and when a comment is made about his style, he just makes a joke of it. Because I can. Same fault as in your gear. Well, we thought what we would yes. do is get Maisie dressed properly, suitable enough to sit next to me each Thursday. Mm -hmm. So this week we sent Maisie to Stud Menswear stud, in Middleton stud. to set a, <laughs> to see a proper fashion expert. <laughs> OK, there I am. Stud Menswear in Middleton. I'm sure Lighting's going to help me out get some gear because uh, I've had a little bit of stick over the last few weeks about my gear. So uh, this young man's going to sort me out. Okay. Morning, lights. All right, pal. You all right? All right, yeah. Listen, bit of a dilemma. Getting a bit of grief on uh, MUTV about my clobber. So, uh, we better to come. My old mucker. We can see what we can do. Big job. But Big man. We I'm deal a, with I'm big, a big jobs. Man. That's it, we pal. deal with big jobs, pal. Cheers, buddy. Well, for you, Dave, we've got some nice new stock in here. Nice bit of shirt, bit of knitwear. Sweet. Smarten it up, get something a bit dark on that pale complexion, I think. Give it a bit of life. I'll tell you what, Razor, you're pulling it off a bit. Well, you really are. are. You really are. Not bad, eh? Yeah, I thought it might have been a bit young for you, but no, you still got it, haven't you? Let's try another rig out. Let's get something else on your back. It's not going to work, pal, is it? All right, come on. Yeah? Let's have a look at you. No, that's more you, Maze, eh? That's a bit more with it, innit? No green. Get rid of the green. Get rid of the green. Maybe a bit of denim, double denim. A bit much? Not sure. What do you think? Not sure. Maybe... Maybe something a bit sharper, a bit smarter. Oh, what I'm thinking is too blue, especially after the weekend. We are the Goon Squad and we're coming to town. Well, Dave, I've got something a bit smarter here for you to try on. OK. Just straight from the docks in Liverpool. All right, yeah. Fresh. Yeah. Maybe off, give them a little... Not knocked off, no, far from it. Right, Dave, let's come on, let's have a look. Do you reckon? Oh, I think that's the winner, Dave. Like That's got to be in number one position, that. I look like a scouser, though, don't I? I'm not sure. Do you know? You yeah. get the glasses on? Did they come work? Well, you're no Stevie Gerrard, are you? What do you reckon, lads? Right, give these a whirl, Dave. Can I not keep these, no? I like these. I can see. You don't want to let it go, do you? Well, let's try them on and see... Uh, come on. See how we end up. Come on, let's have a look at it. Come on then, here we go, boys. Well, oh, that's pretty sharp, pal. You like it? Pretty sharp, slimming, which, hey, we all need. Right, I like a couple of things, mate, but uh, I'm not quite sure which one to go for. We'll get changed, come back out, yeah. we'll have a coffee, yeah. weigh things up and see how we go. what you're going to go for, eh? Sweet, beautiful. All right, pal. Well, Dave, I think you've made the right decision here, pal. Hope so. Hope so. Yeah, I know we've been a little bit of help to you, maybe smartening you up. So, yeah, it's an absolute pleasure, pal. Top man. We'll, uh, we'll see you the gear tomorrow on uh, Thursday podcast. Yeah, Top bye. man. See you, Dave. Thanks for coming in. So, the big question is out of the four outfits we saw there, which one? Has David May chosen to wear this evening? Did the lee? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is me. Uh, oh, this classic. is me races gear. This. Look at the races. I thought it was your loser at Wembley gear. Look like a scouser, don't I? It reminds <laughs> me of the suit Rio Ferdinand wore when he first signed. 
Oh, old top centre half. Maybe you can pull it off. That's it. See? During the break, we began our attempts at drawing each other's portraits, having been inspired by Mata, De Gea and Shaw. So let's reveal how we get on, starting with my attempt. Oh, I'm such a bad drawer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I particularly like my hair. That is. That's, it, that's a thug. I look like Bod. Yeah. It's, it's not... Uh, to scale. Is my I hair basically that started big? the head the his... <laughs> in the middle. I didn't know you were drawing bodies, so I was under pressure. Well, but look, I've done a microphone. That's good. Yeah. Like and musical well notes. Yeah. So mine is yeah. themed. Yeah. Yeah. That's very impressive. Okay. You did get my little sideburn bits in. I'm oh. a bit disappointed about yeah. that. Sorry. <laughs> right, who's next? Uh, Russell, you show your drawing of it, Maisie, please. It's kind of got more of a George Michael vibe to it, but it's, you know, quite Whoa, relatively Whoa! It's like Eric Kalina! <coughs> Tell you what! <laughs> that honestly looks like Eric. It does look a bit like Eric, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I like oh, that, look, Russ. Tell Thank you. You. <laughs> you have signed yours and all, have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I, well, I did. I did Russell by Helen. Oh, I like very that. Very good. Tell you what, very good. Very, Thank very you. good. Very good. And the, uh Maisie. Scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you got the bling here, uh, the bling here, the big ring, you got the necklace. I don't have a necklace on. Well, it anyway. like a necklace. Where is the legs? No, it's, it's, a, it's an hour, hour figure glass. Or a glass uh, figure. Glass ring, I mean. I'm not being funny, but why is my hand so big? Um, it's no bigger than my head. <laughs> yeah, it's like in proportion. I've got your lipstick on, nice lipstick, bit of foundation. Tell you what, bang on that, elves bells.